Well, before I begin my homily, I want to remind everyone that next weekend, let's say this coming Saturday and a week from today, we are collecting cans and bottles, our youth group can and bottle drive. And we want you to bring them to the back garage like you did last summer. Now, you folks were fantastic last summer. We made over $3,000 on that can and bottle drive. I know because I took nine carloads of them back to Myers. I was... And I'll be helping out with this one as well. So next weekend to the back garage, please bring your cans and bottles. Now, the mission of the church is evangelization. It says that in Vatican II, the purpose that the church exists, the reason Jesus founded the church was to spread the faith, to evangelize, to invite people, to invite Christ into their life. And we do that in many ways. But in this modern world, in the modern world, we have to do it online. It's just the latest means of communication. And because we're able to do it online, we literally have people around the globe, from India to Ireland, watching this Mass or watching the next Mass. We have people actually registered in all over the country that have registered to say Malachi because they can watch us online. It's an important ministry of evangelization. And like any other ministry, we need volunteers. So I'm going to invite our Director of Communications, Mr. Dave Corbett, to come down. Dave uh, is, grew up in Fraser and used to do all the uh, stuff for the musicals and concerts over there. And then he went to Grand Valley and got a degree in communication. So come on up, Dave, and tell everybody why we need them to help us evangelize the faith. Absolutely. Thank you, Father Joe. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dave Corbett, like he said, and I'm the digital media director here at St. Malachi. Um, ever since COVID hit, um, Zach, Colin, my wife Lauren, and myself, uh, we've been working pretty tirelessly to bring you our live stream masses since the shutdown began and ever continuing through today. And uh, as we've begun and continued throughout this reopening process, we've really realized we can't do this alone. On the average Sunday, our tech ministry actually takes four to five people to successfully run a live stream and get the message out. Um, and because of that, we just need more help. So to demonstrate just how easy it is for you to get involved, Zach and I made a quick video to show you what each position does and how much is actually required in order to get a live stream going. Play the video. Welcome to the Tech Room. In here, the Tech Ministry runs all of the AV gear required to bring Mass to you both here in person and on the live stream at home. I just wanted to take a quick minute and show you each of the positions that we have here in the tech room and just how easy it is for you to use your gifts to serve here at St. Malachi. This is our graphic station. Here an operator will control the lyrics both in the sanctuary and send that same information over to our broadcast for use on our live streams. If you like singing along to music, are great at following along and paying attention to detail, this position is great for you to help out simply by pushing the spacebar. This is our broadcast audio position. Here an operator controls exactly what the viewers at home on our live stream hear. Now this is a very important position because the sanctuary sound system and our broadcast sound system are actually not connected. That being said, if you are great at mixing, if you have an ear for music, or if you just want to learn and know a lot about music, we can really use your gifts here. This is our sanctuary sound system. From here and with the use of an iPad, an operator will actually go into the sanctuary during Mass and make sure microphones are unmuted on time and that everything can be clearly heard. This position is vital in order to provide a distraction-free experience for everyone present here at St. Malachi. Whether you're young or old, if you can listen and you can pay attention during liturgies, we can use your gifts right here. And last but not least, this is our director station. From here, the director will actually select the final view that goes out to our viewers at home, control the motorized cameras that are in the sanctuary, and coordinate with all of the other positions in this room, as well as with our music ministry down in the choir area. If you're a visual person who's great at thinking on their feet, 
This would be a fantastic position for you to grow into and utilize your gifts to really help us here at St. Malachy. Now, we understand some of the positions that we talked about in the video may look interesting, but there are a lot of knobs and buttons and it might look confusing. Uh, one thing I want you to know is Zach and I both learned pretty much everything we know here. Um, by experimenting, once we got the projection screens and the soundboard down in the choir area, everything from the expansion all the way to back into where we are today, um, we learned by doing. And we're more than happy to teach any one of you what we know, and we're confident that you'll have the same knowledge as that we do. This ministry of evangelization has grown faster than any of us have ever thought uh, when we started the tech ministry back in 2013. And we can use the gifts of each and every one of you in some way or another, whether that's running a live stream on Sunday mornings, filming online videos, whether that's in front of or behind the camera, editing graphics, web design, social media interaction, or whatever ends up coming down the road next. We need your help to continue to spread the gospel online. If you're willing to help out, uh, please stop on by. Uh, I'll be in the gathering space after Mass, uh, willing to answer any questions you may have or uh, take your information to help you get involved. So thank you very much. The uh, evangelization that we've been doing now, going into our eighth year, has taken it to a new level through uh, going online. Uh, just from a year ago to today, it's been mind-boggling how much we've been doing online because of the COVID. But now we realize we have to keep doing it because it is so powerful and effective. And they're keeping me busy. Uh, they do recordings. For example, you might have seen the four litanies we put out. We also are doing regular to weekly talks on various subjects. They're recording me. I'm currently doing a series on my travels and experiences of faith. And just this past week, and it took us three and a half hours to record it and twice as many hours to prepare it, but I prepared a Lenten reflection for every single day of Lent to be shown online from Ash Wednesday through Holy Thursday. So we are, and then we've been recording every week a children's liturgy. Like we, you know, we dismiss the kids. Well, after Mass, that's going to show from uh, the ladies who volunteer for children's ministry. We're constantly recording and putting things out online. That whole thing is blossoming. We are called to evangelize. As the scripture says, the gospel we proclaim to the four corners of the earth. Well, through, through the internet, we literally can reach it, but we need your help. So if you're willing to volunteer and learn how to push those buttons, realize this, that you're doing far more than just running a machine. You're spreading the gospel throughout the world.